Hi there, Maria here. I'm going to show you how to make a paper shrine today. Here I was inspired by some of these um, blocks of paper that I bought that were zen. Here's a shrine I made out of really heavy duty watercolor paper. Oh, there was this, an Egyptian scribe in there, a picture from the Louvre in Paris. And I just uh, altered pretty much everything and uh, there you go a, a nice shrine it's, it's pretty big it can stand alone and here I'm making a much lighter paper it's um, cardstock it's to fit in my art journal so I had some printouts from <coughs> of uh, Mary that I uh, I bought a digital sheet on Etsy just to have for my artwork and um, I'm trying to add the doors here and seeing as the paper is pretty flimsy I figured I have to make it as sturdy as I can the connections there I glued actually I'm gluing the washi tape down to make it Make sure that it will hold the pages together. When in doubt, use more glue. I like that color combination and it fits the little picture. So I've done both and they're dry. And seeing as I'm using a frame that has a little bit of a tip at the top there, I thought I would make it peek out of the doors. Figured I measure to make sure I get a straight line. Otherwise, it's doubtful it would be very straight. Then I tried to find a round form that would actually fit the top there and I don't have any uh, geometrical tools. So that plate came in very handy. Shrines are fun because you can use any idol or or uh, subject that uh, speaks to you. It doesn't have to be a religious icon, but this one is Mary, and here I'm just gilding up the frame as it was pretty dar dark. And I decided also to put some um, uh, bronze paint that I have just to make it a little more variegated instead of just having the one layer of gold. I thought the colors were so pretty, but I am going to alter the pages here. 
I'm almost out of red paint. I like to use a little darker uh, colors to frame in the paper to make it more distinct and that makes the items stand out more. So I'm using a raw umber here. I was not pleased with the arc that I made here in the blue part. But there is nothing that paint can't fix as long as it's not ripped paper. Then I decided to put some gloss varnish on the actual picture. It is a copy, photocopy. It's kind of dull. So this deepens the colors. And here the great unifier is gold paint or any metallic paint. So if you <clears throat> have things that look blotchy and uneven, you can always add metallic paints. Also, I lost out on a lot of the blue that was on that page. So I'm adding some blue to it because I feel it's Mary's color with her blue mantle. But gold, I love the metallics just because um, it gives a richness. And red and gold together are really royal colors. And so it's blue and gold. They had a little more red because um, the gold made everything very pale. But as you can see it, every layer adds depth to the paper. So I decided to stamp some gold stars on here on the blue part. I'm using a rubber stamp and to spread out some gold paint. And that works really well. Make sure to clean the stamp well afterwards. And a crown. I wasn't sure how that was actually going to work out. It looked, looked uneven and un, undefined. But you never know until you try. You can always paint over it. It looked okay on one side but not the other so uh, after I had cleaned my stamp I decided to use a brush <clears throat> and paint in the parts that were missing and that way I can keep the crown. And there I glued down the frame onto the picture. I 
It felt like it needed some more detail. So there at the bottom I had used the uh, doilies for cake for cookies and the uh, um, cupcakes and stuff. I had spray painted the doily in the past that I never used. So I decided to just add a little at the bottom and <clears throat> for that I used a glue stick and glue stick gets everywhere when <clears throat> there's this type of <clears throat> material that glue is going through everything but it's still less messy than using the wet glue And here I am using craft glue to glue that down. Just to make sure all the corners are sticking. And here I'm using a, a Stason black ink to <clears throat> ink the edges just to give it a little more definition. I adding on to the red part, I'm adding on more raw umber just to have a distinct frame. I found the fingers are usually the best way to to smudge and paint subtly. I decided to put some bling on here with a, a border that was already ready made. It has glitter on it and I cut pieces off and uh, just added them on and here I'm going to use the same stencil that I used for the other shrine and the stipple brush this uh, video ends rather abruptly because I ran out of memory but what I did here, I was stenciling on a flower on both sides like the other video. <clears throat> then I let it dry. I used a hole punch to make a hole <clears throat> to keep the doors closed. And I stippled some gold pen paint on the outside. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got something out of this.